President Trump welcomes German Chancellor Angela Merkel to the White House to discuss ISIS, NATO, and trade. The two clashed during the presidential campaign, which is why their first ever meeting is considered an important step to restarting their relationship. Send a good picture back to Germany, please. Make sure. <laughs> President Trump concerned with appearances in his meeting this morning with Angela Merkel, a marked contrast from when he was running for office, and he accused her of ruining Germany for allowing an influx of refugees from Syria. I think what she did to Germany is a disgrace. The president making a concerted effort to find common ground. The two leaders detailed their commitments to fighting ISIS, even as Trump linked the issue back to immigration. That immigration security is national security. We must protect our citizens from those who seek to spread terrorism, extremism, and violence inside our borders. President Trump also repeated a call for NATO members to commit 2% of their budgets to defense spending. Merkel's Germany lags significantly behind. It is very unfair to the United States. These nations must pay what they owe. Chancellor Merkel agrees. Germany needs to increase expenditure. We committed to this 2% goal until 2024. President Trump credits his win in November to his support for the military, saying it will be stronger than ever before, although hopefully not needed. He also addressed NAFTA, saying trade was another reason he won the election. Our trade deals are going to be good, solid deals, not deals that lead to closing plants and tremendous unemployment. President Trump denies that his trade policies are isolationists, telling a German reporter it's fake news. He also repeated his wiretapping claim, suggesting he and Merkel were wiretapped by the Obama administration.